In this video, I will demonstrate how to configure buildings and floors. Enter your username and password. Why configure buildings and floors? It is useful for reporting purposes and compulsory for lift elevator control. Let's have a look at building and floor configuration. Select the setup menu and click on buildings. When the software is installed, a default building is created. You can edit the default building or create a new building. Enter a meaningful name. Description field is optional. Click on Save. The number 1 next to the Floors tab gives you an indication that a floor already exists on the building. Default floor. To edit this floor, click on the record. Floor description is optional and you can change the floor level. To add a new floor to the main building, make sure that you are on the floor's view. Remember, the heading is the name of the view you are currently on. Then the breadcrumb starts with the name of the view you first loaded and built from there. Buildings and floors can be assigned to doors. Select the setup menu and click on doors. Select the door. To assign a building to this door, click on the arrow and select the building and same for floor. To go back to the door view, click on the purple icon. I will use the areas report to show you how you can filter on buildings and floors. Select the reports menu and click on areas. The areas report gives you a list of all configured areas and the doors assigned to the area. I now only want a list of doors on the first floor that are assigned to the all access area. Select the filters tab. Select the building. Select the first floor. It's now only showing me the training room door on the first floor that is assigned to the all access area. To clear your filters, click on the filters tab and click on the delete icon next to building and next to floor. 